Tell me guys, are you aware of this? I'm being too nice. Why do I feel so weak? My woman just walks all over me. Oh man. I just don't think women like me. Oh man, I'm so tired of like acting like this. I know this is not me. I don't feel like who I am. God, I just want to express myself. Do you know what that feels like? Have you ever thought these thoughts? I must tell you that these thoughts runs through the, through the minds of nice guys all over the world because being too nice is a universal thing. It is. And I know from my experience of being too nice at certain times or having patterns of nice guy behaviors that it's really hurt me in many ways thinking like that. I used to think to myself, why do I feel so weak? That was the number one thing that I used to think to myself is why do I feel so weak? And then feeling so weak, you know, it led me to situations that always let me know why do I feel so weak because it was a truth playing out in me so anything out you anything you play out in your mind over and over and over and over and over it turns into a belief and when it turns into a belief it then becomes a living truth inside of yourself so everything in your life is always reflecting the truths the truths that are, that are inside of you so if you're walking around and these thoughts are going through your head and you're like oh my god I'm just so nice and why am I so nice and uh, women just, you know, they just don't respect me or, oh man, I just feel like I just can't be myself. I can't express who I am. All these things are hurting you tremendously. And it was hurting me, man. It really was. Like, it's not your fault that you grew up like that. It's not. Like, you were conditioned in the way of being super nice. And I was conditioned in a way of, like, everybody wanting to like me. And going through my life, it was always a struggle of, <clears throat> I want people to like me, but at the same time, why do everybody have to like me? And I always have this, this, this struggle in my mind of, okay, why am I wanting people to like me? And why am I also not wanting people to like me? Like, what is this weird um, conflict that I have on the inside? And many guys who are really, really nice, they always go through this conflict on the inside of, why do I feel like this? Or why am I like this? And why I just can't express myself? And it's all pent up frustration. All the frustration inside of yourself that you're, <clears throat> comes from you just not expressing yourself. And the non-expression of who you are causes you to have pent-up feelings. And all these pent-up feelings that you have, they come out and they're, they're very misplaced. They, um, all these pent-up feelings that you have, they are completely just stopping you from being the person that you know that you could be. Because everything that you want to say and, and, and do and, 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 and express, it's not coming out at the times it's supposed to. So when it does come out, it always comes out in a place where it's like a little bit off. And then when it's a little bit off, you start to feel bad that it's a little bit off because you're like, fuck, man, I just, I don't know why I expressed it like that. And many guys who are really, really nice, what they tend to do is they tend to have thoughts that completely um, ruin their psychology. And that's what happens when you're too nice is that you start to have a psychology that's incredibly um, disempowering. It's a very disempowering psychology because you're so used to thinking in ways that are against you. And the fact that you're so used to thinking in ways that are against you, your mind will always be a tool that you cannot use. It'll always be a tool that's actually cutting you. And you will, you will feel on the inside that you have all these wounds and you're just so fucking broken and that you don't have the strength just because your mind is cutting you so much. Your mind is the tool that's cutting you up and until you start to get rid of this tool on the inside, that's the only way you're gonna allow yourself to be free. So this entire video, man, I really want you guys to really lock into what is the thing that's, that's really hurting me in this area? You know, as I was going through my life and, 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 and starting to understand what it means to be a man who can express himself, I had to go through many periods of, fuck, man, why do I feel like this? Why can't I just express honesty? Why can't I just express who I am? This had the strongest effect on me. I remember going through my life and just feeling just so, so pent up and so, so, so weak on the inside and just not being able to do all the things I want to do. You know, it was, it was times where I would be in school and I would want to express something. I would want to have 
a way of being and I would just always be afraid to just do something because I, I, I didn't think it would, it would fit in and immediately I would go into my psychology I mean going into my mind and I'll start to just battle with myself and the battle was always why aren't you an express yourself I know you can do this but if you did that then she would think you're like this or the, the, the woman here who thinks you're a really nice guy she might not think you're nice anymore the teacher here that likes you she might not like you anymore so I, I had the battles in that way. <clears throat> then, when it came to you know being around people in church, when I was growing up in my church, um, it was just like you know, always this way of just making sure everything is just all good, and anything that's bad is always like, oh God, I handle it. And I think that the the way that when I was in church, you know, it really screwed me up being there in in many ways, and it also saved me in many ways. The ways that it, it saved me, you know, I'll talk about when I talk to you guys one time about my journey in life. But the ways that it screwed me up is just that it's just, I always wanted everybody to see me in a good light. That's what it was. I just always wanted everybody to see me as this Christian lovely man who didn't do anything wrong, who didn't curse, who didn't do any of those things. And that was only secular things of the world. And it really robbed me of my true expression of just wanting to just let loose at certain times. I mean, really wanting to let loose. It was times where I wanted to let loose with anger and I was just so scared. Because I'm like, you don't express anger because anger leads to violence. Then it was times I really wanted to express um, frustration or, or, or some negative emotion. I was always afraid of my negative emotions. And in my psychology, I would go up in my mind and it would, it would, it would stop me and I'd be like, what am I not expressing this? This feels strange. You know what? I'm a good person and good people don't express anger. I literally was saying this to myself. And for years I was living like that. And from living like that, man, it, it really ate me up on the inside because I didn't want to express intensity. Intensity was very scary to me. When I saw women express intensity, it was scary to me. When I saw men express intensity, I was scared. I didn't want to get into fights. I was scared of getting into fights. I was, of course, nobody wants to fight, but I was scared to stand up for myself because I came up in a community where innocence wasn't a thing. So, where have you been robbed of your uh, ways of being? You want to look into your life of like, okay, why, am, why is my psychology building my reality like this? Why is it that my mind is so hard against me? Why is it that I'm being so nice and that's running through my head? Thoughts that are attached to that is running through my head and it's controlling everything that I'm doing. Why is my reality like this? Start doing inventory on yourself. Really start to open to yourself and look at yourself in a way of, okay, I know that if I don't start to change my psychology and I start to have empowering ways of thinking, then my whole life will be the same. My whole life will stay this way for the rest of my life. It'll just get stronger and stronger and stronger and it'll get harder and harder for you to let go. So, the thing that I want you to do to be able to help this completely is first, understand that your mind can be used by your being. So your being is actually in control of your mind, but our mind tends to control us. And we have, of course, like I said in my other video, we have let our mind be more comfortable and much more the leader than our heart. So as our heart starts to guide us, then our mind becomes useless. So the first thing you need to do, and I would say as a, as a thing, is meditation. And meditation allows you to just be aware of the thoughts itself. Be aware that they're actually not truths. They're just something that's rolling through you that you're living out and it's controlling you. So once you, once you can see it as a pattern, once you can notice the, upride, the rising of it as it comes, then you can now see it as, okay, it's just a thought. And that awareness alone, you being able to be aware of that and then track it to somewhere else, that'll get you in a different direction, energetically as well. So for you guys who don't do meditation, what I would say is that start doing daily meditation. Start doing meditation, I would say, uh, 10 minutes a day. Start doing 10 minutes a day of meditation, you'll start to see how you are more aware of yourself throughout the day. You're more aware of these thoughts as they come along. You're just more aware of what's happening. Then, another thing that I would say for you guys to do, and this works so fucking well, is cut out the phrases that you've been saying to yourself that are disempowering. So cut out phrases like, I'm too nice. Cut out phrases like, 
why am I so weak? Because once you stop leaning on these phrases that are disempowering, and you replace them with empowering phrases, that's when things start to shift. Because the things you tell yourself is the is the what you're going to see in your um, existence. What's good, what you're going to see in your reality. So start to say things to yourself, which is now self-talk. Start to say things to yourself that are going to be better than why am I so nice? If you're ever going to find yourself saying that, let's switch it up a little bit. Why am I so nice? I don't know, but you know what? I'm willing to find this out so I can stop being so nice. Start to move it towards a direction that's positive. Once you can start to move, let's say that you do have these things rolling on the inside of you, things that are not empowering you, and you find yourself speaking to yourself in this way, catch yourself speaking to yourself in this way, and then move it in the direction that's better. And really feel it. You can't just say, well, I guess, you know, I'll get over it someday. No, that's not going to work. You have to really want to change this. And the, as much as you want to change it will be to the extent that it will change. A man that's really serious about changing, I mean, he's open to learning and open to changing, he will change these things about himself. But you must be bold enough. You must be brave enough. You must have the intention inside of yourself to go, I am done with being too nice. I'm tired of my mind controlling me. My mind has been controlling me so much, I am tired of this. And once you hit your threshold of pain, your threshold of I'm tired of this, then shit will change. Shit will be very different. Start to cut those phrases out. Allow meditation to give you the awareness to do that. Then start to cut those phrases out. And if you find yourself saying things, let's say you do find yourself in those phrases, rewire it in the moment. Say something better. Move it towards a resolution that you want. By speaking to yourself in a way that's better for you. Or just cut it out completely. Why am I being so nice? You know what? That's not the truth. It's not that I'm being so nice. It's just that I really want people to like me and I care a lot. That's what it is. I just care a lot and I'm going to continue to care a lot, but I know what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start to express the things that I want and I'm going to have to live with what happens with that. Start to give yourself a chance to change. You're not giving yourself a chance to change. You just want the quick change. Everybody wants the quick fix nowadays. Why do you want the quick fix? Go through the period of hell. Go through the change period. The change period is what makes you value what happens later on. It makes you value the road. The road is incredibly beautiful if you can value the shit that happens along the road. So I want you to start to value the road, man. Value the road. Value the process. And that's something I had to come to in myself. I had to start valuing the process of changing. And when I started to speak to myself in different ways, I started to, okay, cut out the parts of myself that I don't need. I don't need my disempowering thoughts. Because there's no such thing as a wrong or a right thought. There's just disempowering or empowering. Because a wrong thought could even be, I'm the best person in the world. <laughs> that could even be a wrong thought. And that could also be a good, and that could also be a right thought to somebody. But how empowering is that thought saying, I'm the best person in the world? Or how disempowering is it? So my reality li literally lives in beneficial, non-beneficial, disempowering, empowering. And every single time that I'm doing something and speaking to myself, I'm making sure I'm speaking to myself in empowering ways. And if it's disempowering ways, I have to just understand in that moment that it's not helping me. Because sometimes I get frustrated. I get really, really frustrated and I say, fuck man, is this even going to pay off? And I start to say things like that and I go, alright, I'm going to, and I catch myself and I go, alright, I have to stop in this moment because I'm energetically starting to feel off. I'm out, I'm out of alignment. I know right now I feel frustrated, but I know it's all going to lead somewhere I need to go. And immediately I start feeling better because now I'm going in an upward spiral instead of going down and I'm starting to get into a hole in an, ab in an abyss. So for you guys to really understand what it means to change these behavioral patterns, you have to understand that your behavioral pattern that you have can be changed. And the moment you understand that it can be changed, then you can change it. But if you believe it cannot be changed, then you won't, it won't change. It won't be because you have a truth running through you that it cannot be changed. And me, I had to understand that I am a creator. I can go through my life and I can create whatever I want. So can you. And if you feel like you're having these thoughts of, man, why am I being so nice? Or these thoughts of, man, what's wrong with me? Uh, why don't women like me? Whatever it may be. Just understand that it can change. It can. I was once a strong people pleaser, but guess what? I changed that. I was once a man who didn't really express himself, but guess what? I changed that. I was a man who really didn't have internal strength, but guess what? I changed that. And so can you. 
It took me some hell moments for me to change it. It did. But you can change it as well, man. You can completely change it. So as you start to change it, give yourself positive reinforcement. I'm moving in the direction I need to go. Man, this is, this is going to really pay off. Give yourself positive reinforcement in whatever way you can. Maybe when you fucking, you know, you do something that's good, you give yourself a, you know, a fucking pep talk. Or you get, not a pep talk, you give yourself a, a admiration. Or maybe you fucking drink something or you have to start reinforcing the, pot, the things that you are, are wanting in your life. Start giving yourself the, the admiration that you leave, the, the appreciation that you need for the things that you're moving toward. And then watch things change, man. It all becomes good. I mean, all this that's happening for me now, I remember years ago when I was just wondering, you know, I know that I want to help guys, but I don't know what I want to do with it. And it got clearer and clearer and clearer and clearer. And now I'm doing this. And there was times where I was just like, oh man, am I already cut out for this? You know, am I going to be able to do this? You know, am I going to make it doing this? And I, and I helped myself in those ways. Understand that your nice guy ways, they absolutely can change. I'm being too nice, that can change to, I'm a nice man, but I also have a backbone. I'm a nice man, but I'm also not willing to overextend myself for others. I'm a nice man, but I'm not also willing to overinvest in a woman. Because if you overinvest, guess what? She's not going to respect you. She's not going to love you. She's not going to give you. She's not going to give you herself. She doesn't want to give anything to you because she knows that she give it to you is not a valuable thing that she's giving it to. Why would a woman ever want to give her pussy away to a man who who fucking just who would do anything to have it? Really? He's just so nice that he would do anything to have it. Why would she ever give a heart away to a man who didn't choose her? Like for real, give her heart away. She can't give it away to something that's, that's not of value, really. And if she does, she'll start to resent that, whatever that is. Whether it be her career, she'll start to resent that. A man, she'll start to resent that. So understand that, yes, right now, you may be, you may be being really nice. Let's be honest. You may be being really fucking nice, too nice, over-investing. Maybe you are. But guess what? You can also move that towards a better thing. You can move it in a better direction. And the moment you start doing that, watch shit change. <laughs> That's my little line I like to say. Watch shit change. All right, guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm quite crazy. And I have my friend here with me. Uh, the snow is very good, huh? Yeah, this is Tony Solo for The Natural Lifestyle saying subscribe below to Essence Solo. Everything is covered in snow. <laughs> I love it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.